Hello students, in today's class for school organization and management, in the topic, in the unit administration of schools, we would be taking up the principles of educational administration. Educational administration is a field within the study of education that examines the administrative theory and practice of education in general and educational institutions and educators in particular. The field ideally distinguishes itself from administration and management through its adherence to guiding principles of educational philosophy. Principles of educational administration. What does the term principle state? A principle is a law or rule that has to be or usually is to be followed or can be desirably followed or is an inevitable consequence of something such as the laws observed in nature or the way a system is constructed. The principles of such a system are understood by its users as the essential characteristics of the system or reflecting system's designed purpose and the effective operation or use of which would be impossible if any one of the principles were to be ignored. The principles of educational state that in a democratic setup, all institutions must be organized on democratic principles. It helps the students as future citizens in fulfilling their needs and requirements, tending to the self-realization, safeguard the democratic government and welfare of people at the local, state and national level. So administration, educational administration plays an important role through its principles, through its democratic principles. Principles of educational administration include the following. Principle of sharing responsibility, delegating power. Administration involves planning and implementation. Being contextual in approach can be said having a futuristic outlook, vision, and forward-looking administrator. This can be incorporated in the field of administration. The administrator shares responsibility and delegates power at different levels. He practices the exercise of foresight, skill, and vision with respect to matters concerning practical utility of the system and the requirement. Delegating power could be to the vice principal, to the coordinators, to the teachers, and even to the students. The principle of equality says that all are treated as important. It is one of the important social objectives of education to provide equal opportunity to all, to enable them to work well and enable them to work to the best of their abilities. The principle of freedom says that with the changing situations, the needs keep changing and 
development and improvement is required. This can be possible only through freedom given to the students to work, the teachers to work according to the needs and interests of the students, and the vice principal, the other principal working in the interest of the school as a whole. The principle of cooperation says that all the members of the school, the teaching, the non-teaching staff, all of them work together towards one common goal. That means it is in the interest of the students and in the interest for the school. The principle of recognition of individual's worth. Every individual is given a task or assignment in accordance to his needs, requirements, abilities, and aptitudes. The educational administrator practices justice by assigning the tasks judiciously. And once the tasks are being attained, the individual needs to be recognized well. Principle of leadership is very important when we talk about the, admin, the principles of administration. The first principle of leadership or the leader says that planning is done cooperatively. Everyone is involved in planning because everyone would be involved in implementing and bringing out the desired results. Problems at different levels are to be discussed. The principle of leadership says that problems should not be ignored. They should not be hidden away. They should not be concealed. In fact, discussing problems brings about a solution to them. The principle of leadership says that respects, it respects staff and staff members and guides them and is sympathetic towards them. The leader is sympathetic and empathetic both. Next is gives due credit to his or her workers. The workers for the work that they have done have been given credit for their work. It encourages faculty to use the resources available. Most of the schools have resources available them, with them and are underutilized. So the leader, principle of leadership says that it would encourage the faculty to use the resources available. Plans active in-service programs. In-service programs are for the development of the faculty. They are being planned according to the need according to the changes that are taking place and updating the faculty regularly. Conducting faculty meetings for an open discussion to know about the development, to know about the problems that the teachers or the students are facing, faculty meetings are conducted regularly. Allowing school personnel to make flexible programs as per the need and interest of the students. This is as and when it is possible. They are allowed to make flexible programs. The need and interest of the students is kept in mind. And a positive school culture is maintained by the leader. This is one of the principles of leadership. Thank you.